finally i decided to upload another video welcome back to capital growth um just giving you an update as you can see my account is has grown from what it was last time however that does not mean i'm making any gains if you look here in the past year i'm still down 22 percent which is a lot but then again the whole s p is down like about 25 percent so technically i'm beating the s p by three percent hey can't be mad about that but yeah i just wanted to give an update on my portfolio and how it's going and i want to keep uploading on the channel i really do want to start um i was going to say teaching but what do i know about investing if i'm down 20 percent uh i wanted to give updates on my portfolio and how it's going so maybe you guys follow along with me and i want to see your journey as well as as well as you can see mine so yeah i just wanted to give an update of what i've have been buying if i've been investing at all with all that's going on and yeah let's get into it so as of now buying power i only have five dollars and this isn't even from uh me putting it from my bank it's just from dividend income which i've actually started to transition my portfolio from um i guess growth investing towards dividend uh with all this that's going on i've seen that when you are when you invest in dividends even if the stock goes down you're still getting that extra income so why not do it and then at the end they are going to recover and as well bring returns so for me as of now i just think that's the smartest way and i think that's how i'm going to keep it so starting off uh here we have meta which has taken a huge hit uh the past day since its earnings um report but i mean i only have about what is it two shares yeah two shares i don't plan on investing more on this and averaging cost averaging down just because of the fact that i am transitioning to um dividends but i do want to buy at least at this price is one stock and then if it one complete stock not like uh half a share or nothing like that a complete stock and then if it does keep going down i'll buy another one but that's about that's about it as you can see my initial uh where i bought in was 180 dollars per share and i'm down 240 which is 57 percent. that is a lot yeah that's not that's not too cool that that can happen uh my next one which i have i think this is like six percent of my whole portfolio uh seven percent there we go is bank of america um i am making a return on it of four percent as well as i've been earning uh dividend because bank of america does pay dividend i'm not sure if this it should say it Sorry, I'm more used to seeing it on the phone. Yeah, so it pays you $2.36 per share. I mean, that's not bad at all. And then I'm also making that return. I did want to invest more in Bank of America, but I think I'm going to hold back a little bit and see if it drops a little bit more. Um, As you can see, maybe to this level here, back to like 35 or something like that. But as of now, I don't plan on buying more. Uh, Next up is AT&T. Another one that I'm taking loss on 26 percent. it's not that bad it's six percent of my portfolio but just like bank of america at&t also does pay a dividend which is okay i think i got the wrong on the phone so i don't know if this is seven no it can't be seven dollars per share forget it it's seven percent per share so seven percent of whatever at e is uh you do the math uh yeah let me see seven percent let's why don't we use our friend google 7.34 percent of 18. there so you get a dollar and 30 cents per share of at&t that you own and i have a total of 22 shares perfect uh next up is sofi i mean this i just bought in the hype and i bought it at ten dollars because it was down from its high i thought it was going to go up but it's not it's only 0.18 percent of my portfolio i'm just going to leave it there if it goes up i'll sell it if it doesn't i'll just take the 20 dollar loss which is i think the total investment for this but yeah that one doesn't really count then we have uh intel another company that pays dividend uh as you can see i'm down 18 percent i have been buying this one a few has uh since it started going down my initial uh my average cost is 33 dollars right now it's at 27 so i do plan on buying more at least two more so get to 15 i don't like 13 there uh, it's a bad luck number uh as you can see it pays a five percent dividend yield so five percent of 27 dollars per share that's not bad man if you create if you start building a portfolio in the future once i don't know a couple years down the line five ten years when the market recovers you have what how the situation is if you keep investing and cost averaging down you might be able to even double your portfolio and not only that by the time it's been doing that you've been earning um dividends so that can compound and then in 20 years you have a huge account at least that's what they say 
you know but let's see next up amd another tech stock i'm down 33 percent i don't plan on buying any more of this as i said once i get back to my my cost i plan on selling and using that money to buy more dividend stocks um this one doesn't pay dividends as you can see here but yeah i'm just gonna hold it for now wait till the market recovers and then sell um next up we had amd it's citibank i only have one share i literally bought it at 68 haven't cost average down or anything don't plan to either as i already have invz and uh what is the other one i have uh chase jp morgan chase i have so i don't really want to have three and i have bank of america so yeah four banks not really so once this goes back to the highs if it does i'll sell it i'm just gonna keep one share it does pay a 4.48 dividend yield all right next up it's alibaba this one i am thinking of cost averaging down which means investing more into it buying more shares at the moment i'm down 52 percent that's a pretty big hit 212 dollars um to the size of my account that's a pretty big hit i mean it's only three percent of my whole portfolio but still as you can see my my average cost is 135 the stock is now at 60 so basically more than half i plan on buying at least one or two more shares to just wait until the market recovers get some money back and then sell it and then again use it for dividend income then we have uber my average cost is 40. i'm down 28 percent this one i did plan on selling uh if you go to the daily it was at like 29 i was only down like about 20 dollars i thought about selling and using my whole market value to then again once again keep repeating this buy more dividend income but yeah i i thought it was gonna go more up it didn't it is what it is we keep holding until the market recovers and then we have realty income another great dividend stock six percent of my portfolio i'm down seven percent but again my average cost is only 66 and then it's at 61 now so i'm losing like five dollars per share and as you can see here i got paid on november 15th well i will get paid on november 15th a dollar 49 because the reason why it's a dollar is not because that's why you get paid per share it's just that they pay i believe per quarter so that's what you get in the quarter so over the course of the year what you'll be getting is 4.84 per share uh percent per share not dollars and then next up we have tjx this one's a great company i sold it last time on my video i had it and then i sold it for a profit which i'm making 18 percent now i thought about selling it again but uh again i'm just gonna keep it it does give dividends uh let me see if it shows here uh dividend you can see 89 cents i know it doesn't look like a lot guys but trust me compound interest works over time you will make some returns you will see some money if we're just at a bad time right now and i i've seen a lot of people just close their accounts or take out their money just because they're taking losses i personally don't think that's the way to go but then again you do with your investments as you think is best for you i think it's best to keep averaging down wait till the market recovers get those returns this one is triple m uh, this company i'm thinking of just taking the hit 21 percent, only 77 dollars and using this 276 dollars to invest in other dividend companies that i have in mind because i really don't see this going back to its highs i mean it's just been going down on a slope the whole year i mean as the whole market has but this one is going it has some uh it's gotten sued because what happened with the military and their ear uh plugs that they were selling i look into it but i mean it's a great company it definitely won't go anywhere anytime soon i just don't see a recovery and give me giving me a return so i'd rather use this money or something else and then next up we have disney i'm down 27 percent don't really plan on investing investing more in disney but however this does look good right um you see here it's sort of like a double bottom i don't think disney is gonna go bankrupt i mean I go to or i live i'm from florida i go to disney probably what like twice a year just me so imagine um they did stop paying a dividend they were doing it before that's why i had it so i think once it recovers a bit i'm just gonna sell it and then use this uh capital to buy more dividends uh paypal another tricky one um 50 i'm down 50 percent 
their earnings report wasn't that great a uh, high of 300 which i really don't see it going back to i bought a 140 this one i have to look into i'm just gonna wait a little bit see what's going on in the market and then maybe get out or just buy more cost average down and take it out for a profit then we have ibc which is another investment bank um my average is 21 it's at 15 now i'm losing 30 percent this one pays a dividend year of 4.63 uh let's try to get come on where is it this one is salesforce crm i barely have a share i just bought it because i thought it was a good company it's high it was at 306 market market value i have is 128 i think i'm just gonna close this maybe by the beginning of next year to see how this year closes and just use that capital for something else um because i really don't see any don't see it bringing me returns uh, i've been freaking moving my legs so probably my voice sounds shaky sorry about that uh then we have square block i'm down 33 percent. this one i do think i'm gonna buy a couple shares more maybe one or two cost average down a little bit and then if i see a return of the market the market in general goes back up i'm gonna close out and then we have nvidia two shares i just go over these pretty quick uh two shares i'm down 34 percent. this one i believe pays a small dividend yeah 0 0.12 dividend well i don't really plan on keeping this company once again when the market recovers just gonna take this capital invest it somewhere else from now on enough of growth stocks tech stock is all about dividends at least for me then we have comcast um another great dividend payer to pays 3.43 I have 10 shares i'm currently down 22 percent on it but i do feel i'm gonna buy more here probably next month maybe the beginning of the year uh, i mean i have comcast i use it a lot of people use comcast uh, it has a lot of debt but then again every company in that sector like at&t verizon they just can't have that is just their business model um but yeah then we have neo this isn't even worth looking at i have one share bought in the hype again uh yeah this i'm just gonna leave it there it doesn't really do any damage to my portfolio 0 0.18 percent neo and then we have jp morgan chase i'm making eight percent return only have two shares i didn't want to buy more when it was around this lows i just hesitated and really didn't but it does pay a good dividend of 3.15 percent after jp morgan chase we have google which i have two shares google is taking a hit at the moment i'm down 25 percent this one i definitely think i will invest more maybe two three shares probably three to get it up to five just round it out uh, it's only two percent of my two percent of my portfolio so i really want to get that up uh but again it's taking a hit now so i'm gonna wait a few days to see if the market settles and then i'll, I'll go in and buy some more after google we have walgreens boots alliance another great company six percent of my portfolio i have 10 shares um, I'm down 6% and it pays a dividend of 5.34%. Uh, guys, this video, if you want me to go more in depth on any specific stock, let me know. This is just to show an update on my portfolio overall, what I have and what I'm losing how since how the market is now. Um, but yeah, if you want me to look in a specific stock or one that I have in my portfolio, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to do that. Next up is Starbucks, 3% of my portfolio, two shares. I mean, this is pretty much break even and then it pays a dividend of 2.32 after starbucks we have where is it verizon 2.52 percent of my portfolio i'm down 12 percent this one i do want to invest some more in probably when it's around like 35 per share i'm gonna buy six maybe 10 shares uh verizon tyson foods this one it's a good dividend company, but I mean, it's, I only have two shares, 2% of my portfolio. I bought it to diversify, but I don't really see, I'd rather use this money on another one, to be honest. I don't see myself investing more in this one. It does pay a dividend of 2.73, which is not too bad, but I will have to look more into it to see if I get out of the position or not. And then we have, oh, I think I skipped a few there. One second. Tyson Food, and we have MPW, which is Medical Property Trust. They own buildings for like hospitals and things like that. I mean, in the US, if you live here, you know how expensive this is, and there's hospitals everywhere. So I really don't see myself 
uh, going out of this position i've been investing constantly it's only 2.64 percent of my portfolio at the moment but i'm definitely going to be more in the future and take a look at this 10.45 percent of dividend yield income that's not too bad okay next up uh we have Shar swab this is a dividend equity etf i had 4.89 percent of my portfolio i'm making a three percent return i definitely want to invest more in this i want it to be i want this to be at least 10 percent of my portfolio since it is an etf and as you, as you can see here it's what um it's inside the etf so financial services technology and then the top tech holdings i mean these are great companies and it does pay a three point 51 dividend and then i believe this is the last one which is kroger i opened this position maybe like two weeks ago or like about a month ago only 2.41 percent of my portfolio only three shares i want to get this up to 10 so i want to buy seven more shares but i am making a nice return now so i'm hoping for the market to go back down a little bit to increase my position and pace at 1.91 dividend income not dividend income 1.91 but yeah that's been my portfolio so far in another video i'm going to show how much i've been investing monthly because as you can see here my account is has grown a little bit from the last video but yeah if you would like to see anything on the channel where it is me going over a company or how i choose my stocks or anything in general that you want to know let me know in the comments below and i'll be sure to make a video on it or help you guys out just answering in the comments thank you for watching